Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Um, today we're going to be installing LED fog lights. So all you need a 10 mil and a flat head and that should be it. Okay, so I jacked it up. Um, I put a block of wood on the other side. I don't have jack stands unfortunately. So tire still touching the ground. I just wanted to lift the bumper up a few inches so I can get up in there without only having like four inches to work with. So now I got a, almost a foot and uh, I will not stick my head under because I don't want to die. Okay, so there is uh, four bolts, all 10 mil. One, two, three, four, and the clamp with the flathead. And once you get all that removed, all you got to do is pull this forward and down and it, everything will come out. So I'll go ahead and do that because I need two hands. Okay, so I got the four bolts out there and the clip. Now these two bolts here are shorter than those two. So the two bolts that are smaller to the other two are the two in, two inside ones. So now that that's pulled out, I can uh, reach up in there. This rust check here smells great, works great. I'm gonna spray all my, my clamp. All those rusted parts, I'm gonna spray them for that. Honda. See, just a fancy Honda. Okay, so this side gives you a lot more wire to play with. I can bring it right down. The other one, I couldn't even, you can really take a video because it was so hard to uh, reach up. Push down on this clamp and you pull the bulb right out. Okay, so I got the new one in. All right, so that's the light there. It's still kind of daylight, so it's not really as blue as it is in the nighttime, but once I change these uh, switchbacks to LEDs, I think it'll look a lot better. I just don't like how the yellow goes with the blue. So uh, I'm going to change those, but yeah, that's some um, there. And also once I black out all that chrome uh, trim there and the, cr the chrome around the Acura symbol, I think it'll look a lot better too. Hey, practice makes perfect, so that's what I'm doing. My 0 to 30 was 2.1, 0 to 60 of 5.4, my best 0 to 60 is 5.3, so if I could get a 5.3 0 to 60, might even see a 13, low 13.7, maybe high 13.6, which is pretty impressive for just a, uh, an intake and a, or a K and N drop in filter and a J pipe. So. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty pumped about that. I definitely got to install my intake and try this again. See that? It won't go in first. It does that all the time if I drive it hard for a bit. The other day I was stuck and it would not go second. See, I think it's a shifter cables. I don't know if anybody else has that issue, but it is annoying. Okay. It's in first now, so now I uh, I gotta do one more launch, I guess. See, now it's going in right easy. So, that's gotta be the shifter cables, right? That can't be the synchros. And... All right, here goes. Here, this thing loves to pull in fourth. It's normally where I pull on people. 
Anyways, that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to subscribe, hit that like button, and I'll see you next video.